some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a sovereign citizen who attempts to pass off fake papers, believes that uh, the, all 50 states are both sovereign and foreign, and in addition, he gets arrested for child endangerment. So, uh, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This man right here, I'm trying to tell me I, I, I can't, that I have to have a United States uh, identification card. Like you trying to tell him, I'm not a U.S. citizen. I don't need no United States card, none of that, period. And you gonna try to tell me you can't honor, this man gonna tell me that Oh, where's your registration? Be quiet, please. Be quiet, okay? I need you to be quiet. I need you to sit still, and I need you to be quiet. My daddy take care of this. Yeah, let daddy take care of you with all that soft, hard nonsense he downloaded off some sketchy website. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. So I had to get all this on the record because we had this one cop that when he pulled me over, he trying to tell me he wasn't going to accept my records. Tell me that he's not going to accept none of my documents. I told him, yeah, you are going to accept my documents. Don't tell me my documents ain't legit. Yeah, they are legit. Go run it. I don't know what he's talking about. What, did you buy the fake documentation and plates and everything like that off one of those sovereign citizen uh, websites? Well, now, aren't you a bright one indeed? I advise to any of you soft hearts. Of course, you're not going to take any of this advice anyway because you're listening to too much of that soft hard garbage is to get your legitimate documentation and plates from the government so that way you avoid all these fines and penalties and jail time and everything like that. Trust me, you would come out farther ahead. You'd actually have some money left over at the end of the month after not paying any fines. You know what's wrong with then we got this clown right here. He keep running around like he gonna do something. This one right here, this officer, see his badge on him. He's trying to hide his face now. But this one right here, he, he keep on coming over here. I don't know why he's standing so close to the vehicle. It's stuff like he's going to do something. Or it might be that he's trying to figure out why you haven't put a seatbelt on your child even after being pulled over. Uh, that's just a thought, you know, just in case. They hate when you know your rights. They hate when you know who you are. And they hate when they know that, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to verify with no state identification because we've never been part of their state at all. Never, ever. Never. Yeah, just because you say you're not a part of that state does not mean the laws don't apply to you, moron. In fact, why don't you try to ask every soft citizen who uh, tried that in court? I mean, does it ever really work at all? I gotta understand that, like, when you're getting pulled over by these 
these uh these Europeans, right? These these officers, right? We are not part of their society. All right? The U United States is a federal corporation. All right? The United States is not the state of Illinois. The United States is not the state of Missouri. The United States is not any of the 50 sovereign states. All the 50 sovereign states are sovereign and foreign to this to the jurisdiction of of all of these entities. Sit down and be quiet. Um wow. Uh your brain waved bye-bye to you a long time ago, didn't it? All 50 of those states make up a country called the United States. 50 states united into one nation with a governing body located in a district called Columbia. The District of Columbia. It is not a corporation. In addition, if your child was actually in a seatbelt, maybe they wouldn't be bouncing around so much. Just a thought. Or are seatbelts uh, foreign as well? So... It's all foreign to them. We're not, not, we're not U.S. citizens. We're not subject to none of their rules and regulations. So you gotta re remember, the United States was set up for the for for them. We are Americans. If anything, we're the Americans. We're not U.S. citizens. U.S. citizen, Fourteenth Amendment, all that stuff was to trick you to make you believe that you could get some sort of citizenship. In a uh, in a in, in a state that owns any sort of protection or anything whatsoever, period. Oh boy, several things to unpack right there. First of all, America is a continent. Well, two continents: North America and South America. North America has Canada, Mexico, and the United States. So we're Americans simply by the fact that we live on the American continent, but we are also part of the United States, of the country, the nation that is on the continent. Just like the French and Germans would be European because they are on the European continent. And just as... Vietnam and South Korea are on the Asian continent, that would make them Asians. And the next thing to unpack is really, the, did the Constitution actually trick you into becoming a U.S. citizen? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh, boy. I'm getting tired of this guy already. Uh, well, his arrest will be here shortly, so let's continue on. Yep. No, sir. What am I step? What am I stepping out for? What am I stepping out for? Uh, uh sir, you can't give me a lawful order unless I committed a crime. What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? What crime? Okay, well, I, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get out. You ain't gotta do all that. Get out. I'm gonna get, get out. You don't have to do all that. I'm gonna get out. Get I, out I don't give you. Sir. I don't give you any consent. I'm not gonna do I don't care. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. What are you arresting me for? What are you? What are you arresting me for? Turn around. What are you arresting me for? Stop it. Stop. Ain't no child in danger. No, I, I do have, I have all of that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I got all, I got all of folks he was charged with child endangerment because he had a child under the age of eight 
not properly secured in a proper car seat for the age of the child, as per the Child Passenger Protection Act. And you know what? Given how this idiot is, I am sure he would appear before a judge and argue that that is a fake law. At any rate, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.